And thus we made their end a warning for the people of their own time and for the succeeding generations and an admonition to the God-fearing. And then recall when Moses, peace be upon him, said to his people, Behold, Allah commands you to slaughter a cow. They said, Are you jesting with us? Moses, peace be upon him, answered, I seek refuge in Allah that I should behave in the manner of the ignorant. They said, Pray to your Lord that he make clear to us what she is like. Moses, peace be upon him, answered, He says, She is a cow, neither old nor immature, but of an age in between the two. Do, then, what you have been commanded. They said, Pray to your Lord that he make clear to us of what color she is. Moses, peace be upon him, answered. He says, She is a yellow cow with a bright color which is pleasing to those who see. They said, Pray to your Lord that he make clear to us what cow she is. Cows seem much alike to us, and if Allah wills, we shall be guided. Moses, peace be upon him, answered, Lo, he says, she is a cow unyoked to plow the earth or to water the tillage, one that has been kept secure with no blemish on her. Thereupon they cried out, Now you have come forth with the information that will direct us aright. And they slaughtered her, although they scarcely seemed to do so. And recall, when you killed a man and then began to remonstrate and cast the blame of killing upon one another, even though Allah was determined to bring to light what you were hiding, then we ordered, smite the corpse with a part of it. Thus does Allah bring the dead to life, and thus does He show His signs that you might understand. Then, even after observing this, your hearts hardened and became like stones or even harder. For surely there are some stones from which streams burst forth and some that split asunder and water issues out and some that crash down for fear of Allah. Allah is not heedless of the things you do. Do you hope that these people will believe in the message you are preaching, even though a party of them has been wont to listen to the word of Allah, and after they had fully grasped it, knowingly distorted it? And when they meet those who believe in Muhammad, peace be upon him, they say, we too believe in him. But in their intimate meetings, they say to one another, how foolish! Why should you intimate to them what Allah has revealed to you? For they will use it as an argument against you before your Lord. Are they unaware that Allah knows all that they hide and all that they disclose? Among them are also the unlettered folk who do not know about the scriptures but cherish baseless wishes and merely follow their conjectures. Woe then! to those who write out the scriptures with their own hands and then in order to make a trifling gain claim this is from Allah. Woe to them for what their hands have written and woe to them for what they thus earn. They say the fire will certainly not touch us except for a limited number of days. Say to them have you received a promise from Allah for Allah never breaks His promise. Or do you attribute to Allah something about which you have no knowledge? Those who earn evil and are encompassed by their sinfulness are the people of the fire, and there will they abide. Those who believe and do righteous deeds are the people of the garden, and there will they abide. And recall, when we made a covenant with the children of Israel, you shall serve none but Allah and do good to parents, kinsmen, orphans, and the needy. You shall speak kindly to people and establish prayer and give zakah, purifying alms. And yet, except for a few of you, you turn back on this covenant 
and you are still backsliders. And recall, when we made a covenant with you, that you shall not shed one another's blood, and shall not turn out one another from your homelands. You confirmed it, and you yourselves are witnesses to it. And here you are, killing one another, turning out a party of your own from their homelands, aiding one another against them in sin and enmity. And if they come to you as captives, you ransom them, although the very act of expelling them was unlawful to you. Do you believe in a part of the scripture and reject the rest? What else then could be the retribution of those among you who do this than that they should live in degradation in the present life? and that on the day of resurrection they should be sent to the severest chastisement. Allah is not heedless of what you do. These are the ones who have bought the present life in exchange for the world to come. Their chastisement shall not be lightened, nor shall they be helped. Surely we gave Moses, peace be upon him, the scripture and caused a train of messengers to follow him and then sent Jesus, peace be upon him, the son of Mary, with clear proofs and supported him with the spirit of holiness. But is it not true that every time a messenger brought to you something that was not to your liking, you acted arrogantly? You called some messengers liars and killed others. They say, our hearts are well protected. No, the fact is that Allah has cursed them because of their denying the truth. So, scarcely do they believe. And now that there has come to them a book from Allah, how are they treating it, even though it confirms the truth already in their possession? And even though they had prayed for victory against the unbelievers, and yet, when that book came to them, and they recognized it, they refused to acknowledge its truth. Allah's curse be upon the unbelievers. Evil indeed is what they console themselves with. They deny the guidance revealed by Allah, grudging that He chose to bestow His gracious bounty of revelation and prophethood on some of His servants whom He willed. Thus, they have brought on themselves wrath after wrath, and a humiliating chastisement is in store for such unbelievers.